blessing this be upon all of you and uh, the blessing we will come you the are viewers in all all over all over the world wherever you are getting our broadcasting uh, for the first ep episodes from the program rituals for this year through this we are going to go over all the uh, all the issues and the subjects that is related uh, to the Hajj and the pilgrimage as our prophet uh, taught us in this program which comes within all the programs that is organized by the endowment and ministry of uh, religious affairs in saudi arabia with the consequence of all these uh, of all these uh, programs to try to raise the awareness of the visitors and uh, the visitors of uh, mecca the holy mosque and the holy mosque of, uh, of kaaba in uh, saudi arabia and in this i will be escorted by the doctor the member of the Raising Awareness, Dr. Tukhat. Peace be upon all of you, peace be upon all of you, and we will come you, dear viewers, uh, brothers, sisters. Hopefully, this meeting will be blessed and useful to get all the information and the science related uh, to this uh, ritual, one of the pillars of Islam, which is pilgrimage, and uh, to try to answer and respond to all the questions and explanations by you. The uh, dear viewers and uh, our sheikh, in this episode today we are going to talk about pilgrimage in Islam, some aspects related to this topic. Of course, you can participate with us uh, through all the different means that you can connect with us uh, on the screen. Before we talk, your eminence uh, sheikh, about this pillar of Islam, uh, pilgrimage, hopefully we are very close to uh, Hajj now season. Before that, we are going to talk about Islamic religion, the great Islamic religion, and what is different from other religions. Thanks, God, first of all, and peace be upon our uh, Prophet Muhammad and all his companions and followers. This light that were presented by our Prophet Muhammad, the son of Adam, peace be upon him, is is a completion to the building or to the base to the beautiful base or which we brought the happiness to all the world and to the mankind and this is also the chain of the light that we get from this message that god sent to the mankind to take them out from the darkness to the light so he sent all the messengers our god to try to get them out from the darkness to the light and this were one of the greatest uh, types and the most lightening uh, types and the most also useful to the mankind uh, what were brought by our prophet muhammad peace be upon him and that's why to complete his uh, message and uh, to the generalization and to the sustainability of the message until God inherited all the lands and the earth and the mankind. This message, it's not out of what were presented from other messages it came previously about the content or the soul of it that were brought by our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But he tried to continue as he could. That's why uh, our God said that... Uh, the messenger believed and I wasn't away from or out of the lane from other messengers but I tried to complete what our uh, previous messengers uh, brought to us uh, from light and also the call for only one God and no God only but Allah and that's why this is the call for Allah is the only God and this is also something where also one common between all the messengers from starting from Noah and also to the rest of the messengers and to the last messenger Muhammad they were calling all of them to call for only one God uh, that's why they were created on that uh, instinct and that's why as we get all the information peace be upon him there was like ten uh, uh, let's say uh, ten, uh, uh, 10 like pillars that's why there was sometimes imbalance between these two periods between Adam and between our messenger Muhammad and in here we got the correction starting with Noah that were sent uh, by our God and then uh, he was followed by other messengers God sent uh, all the different uh, messengers uh, to the different nations according to the need or the wisdom or the 
God was the m- in sending all these messengers. What is distinguished about this message by our Prophet? It was uh, the final one by our messenger. Muhammad wasn't the, the uh, father of anyone, and he was the last messenger of all the messengers. And from also the different also aspects of this, it came as a completion to all the uh, to the. Uh, how to greaten to greaten our God in this and also the reality in uh, the worshipping the worshipping of Allah and have all the details different than other also messages uh, were sent by other messengers so uh, there was also some news about the previous messengers like uh, in uh, Joseph uh, uh, verses uh, about uh, bowing down or the prostrating of uh, Jacob and uh, all his children to uh, Joseph but in this also a new uh, religion it's not allowed for anyone to prostrate for anyone or bowing down for anyone but uh, our messengers, if I ordered anyone to bow for anyone, I could, would order the woman to bow down or prostrate for her uh, husband. But he prevented that and he warned from that. So that's why there was also a gathering. It's not allowed for anyone to prostrate to anyone for greeting, for saluting, for worshipping. It will only be done just only for our God, for Allah. Just only, and this is also as a completion from what was uh, sent by our Prophet, peace be upon him. So, what he brought is the final by worshipping, and also the testimony that our God is only one God, and also the perform of all the rituals. And so, it was a complete. Uh, and it was integrated by all the previous uh, messages by uh, all the uh, previous uh, it was a completion to all uh, the uh, rituals or the uh, what was sent by all the messengers uh, in the previous uh, messages like in the farewell uh, circumpu- uh, circumambulation that our God today I end my uh, uh, Islam for you and I also uh, uh, satisfied about Islam as a religion for you but when we try to get uh, something uh, this information it will be clear like the sun it will not be away from what was mentioned by uh, previous ma- messengers but it's in the same lane but it came as a completion for what they presented for all of us uh, that there is no God just only our God Allah and uh, our God also in his uh, Holy Quran that he's going to send the soul by an order from him to whoever from his worshippers that there is no God just me so try to worship me so uh, Jibreel is the angel that he got this uh, this soul it was a call that there is no God just only me I'm the God so worship me so that's why it was an order for all the mankind to worship Allah and so in many different uh, verses in the Quran all the messengers who were sent uh, just only for worshiping uh, Allah and that's why it was sent to all the messengers that uh, there is only one God Allah is the only God for all the mankind and that's why this is give the individuality for Allah and that's why we need to be loyal and worshipping Allah so that's why it was very clear uh, it was very clear about the approval between all the different uh, messages and our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him uh, said in he said peace be upon him that all the messengers they are all brothers they have one one religion but they have different rituals that there is only one god but in the different rituals that's why we have different nations so in for each nation for each nation they got what is proper for them but they were all gathered and approved in one thing that we have only one God to worship. So that's why our message that were sent by our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came as a completion for all the previous messages. But if we want to go to all the different pillars and all the different pillars of Islam, like Hajj that we are going to talk about, pilgrimage. Pilgrimage is built on some like strong some bases and pillars all these bases and pillars 
It can't be, we can't like build a building without any pillars and you can't imagine any building or any facility without the pillars. And in like in a house, in a room, in a facility, in a factory, in a building, in an apartment, in all different types, it must be done on like pillars. And all these pillars and all these bases, if we if we neglect or if it was weakened or if we try to weaken or destroy it, we will destroy the whole building or the whole facility. That's why it was narrated by our Prophet that Islam were built on five pillars. That's why they also they try to represent Islam as a building to try to make the Muslims to see the level of all these acts and perform that he's doing in building this religion, this Islam. Islam is just like the building that the, the mankind can realize or understand whether if they have like a building or from mud or from blocks it was built or from, from steel or from any other means of building or even a building from from like garments or tents or anything like this each building must have pillars or bases so our prophet says the islam were built on five pillars five bases five origins let's say the testimony that there is no god only but god and muhammad is a messenger of allah of god and this is the meaning maybe the meaning for some people is very clear but not everything which is clear for you is clear for others so sometimes they try to listen to us carefully even if you feel that you understand or if you feel that it's very clear for you and maybe if we remind you it's very good and useful for you the first pillar which is based on the islam is the general concept or meaning for all the different common uh, common understanding for all the different messages by all the different prophets but this message came to try as a context and the content for this message the first pillar is the testimony that there is no god only but god and muhammad is a messenger is the messenger of allah this is this pillar is combined of two parts they are actually, they are uh, combined or integrated. We can't uh, do this uh, do this one without the other. So that's why these two testimonies were combined. We can't separate. We can't separate the two testimonies. No one can witness. Just only that there is no God, only but God without witnessing that Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. But you need to approve and have the testimony for the two. So that's why. And based on them, there will be the different other four pillars so all the different pillars all the acts all the performs in islam religion it will be based first of all on this pillar the testimony that there is no god only but god and muhammad is a messenger that i declare i believe that nobody deserves worshiping just only our god no one on the universe maybe like an angel or one of the companions or the followers or one of the martyrs let's say or any or any mankind or life or animal that deserve worshiping just only god who deserve worshiping so anyone can be worshipped uh, except our God. So that's why he's in the dark, going in the lane of darkness. That's the meaning of the testimony, the one who's uh, calling other ones than Allah. Like if he's calling of the death people, let's say that means, let's say like good people, uh, prophets, uh, companions, uh, followers, angels, uh, uh, angels, uh, genies. Uh, all these uh, all these calls are out of the call of uh, that there is no god only but god don't pray don't pray to others than allah just pray to our god uh, so that's why worshiping will be just only for our god and they were ordered to worship allah and to be loyal in their performing the religion to be pure all their worshiping with their acts their performing from anything can be like to be like to be like deformed 
or any defamation to all these worshipping. This is uh, the first pillar, which is based on two pillars, uh, the testimony that there is no God only, uh, but God, and we worship uh, Allah, and the testimony that Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. To declare, to announce, to believe in this, that he was sent to all the mankind, to uh, mankind and jinnies. I, uh, our messenger narrated, uh, peace be upon him, that I was sent to all the mankind and jinnies, and he needs to believe in Muhammad because he was sent to him. Peace be upon him, he was sent to every single one on the in the universe uh, until uh, God inherited uh, the universe and the earth and uh, everybody on the earth so that's why I am the messenger of uh, God to you that's why everybody needs to believe in the message of our Prophet Muhammad the messenger peace be upon him and it was narrated by Abu Huraira uh, Muhammad said his word of God that nobody can hear that can include, he was including everyone, males, females, Muslim, uh, infidel, Arab, uh, from like uh, different nations, uh, Jenny's, uh, mankind, or even Jewish or Christians, they were all called in this because, because they were also on a guidance uh, being before that. So they need, if they don't believe in me, they will be in hell. So nobody can say that I am not in need of Muhammad. We all are in need for Muhammad and for all what he brought for us as a content of Islam and the meaning of all these two, not to worship just only Allah and to worship in what he gave to you or explained to you. And based on this, it will be built the followed or uh, the followed uh, pillars. So that's why there is some pillars, like sometimes if you build a building, you need to have the first pillar or the first uh, base it must be very strong to test uh, the testimony that uh, there is no God only but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and just only to worship our God according to his rituals according to what uh, our prophet taught us and our God taught us but we need in all our act to be launched from the guidance of Muhammad peace be upon him and what he brought for us so that's why he said the prayer as you saw me praying how to do zakah how to do the pilgrimage and perform the pilgrimage so everything is based on the, on these two origins and the rest of the pillars is zakah fasting and also after the break we will continue small break and then we will continue rituals program We welcome you, dear viewers, again, and we are still with you on a live broadcasting for rituals. Our topic today about pilgrimage in Islam, so you can connect with us about all the different social media means by like Twitter, hashtag rituals. That's we are going to read all the participations during our episode. We will get back to you, Sheikh, your eminence. We were talking before the break about the basis for all the different pillars and the obeying to Allah, which is a testimony, first of all, that there is no God but only Allah and Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. And we will try to start now with all the different pillars until we get to the Hajj. We will go over now. Uh, through the, uh, what is narrated uh, by uh, uh, Muhammad bin Omar that Islam was built on five whenever you need to find to identify like a building or a place or a facility you will be in need to take like a photo or to take some ideas in general about the facilities uh, uh, from the services uh, the way that you can get to all the different sections so that's why what was narrated by Muhammad bin Omar this is will give us like a clear image to the Islam and under all these uh, images and this uh, general scope to Islam, all the rituals of Islam, 
through the believing the origin or the basis which is built on the Islam in all different uh, sections uh, sections it must be first of all to testimony that there is no God only but Allah and we need also to testimony and also believe in the testimony that Muhammad is the messenger of God that taught us because we couldn't identify all that or know that uh, just only through our messenger Muhammad that were sent to us to take us out from the darkness to the light to guide us uh, uh, from uh, being blind to the guidance to the light so that's why this is from the necessity to believe in God we need to believe in the messenger of Allah also because we can't get to our God just only by the mean by uh, by the mean or the medium let's say uh, by the messengers uh, by clarifying all these rituals and the way how we can get to our God and this is was proven in Sunnah and in the Holy Quran Muhammad peace be upon him he said that Islam was based and built on five pillars that you need just only to worship just only our God don't look like to some people or some people are prostrating to other than God or uh, or do perform pilgrimage to other than God or try to uh, do circumambulation or to go to visit some graves and try to ask for assistance and help from all these death people but you can also uh, free your heart and fill your heart uh, of the love and the passion of our God and to greaten the son of our prophet that, that's why it was said by our prophet that we need to worship just only our God and to worship him and what we were informed by his messenger so that's why we need to take all the words from our messenger and to learn from him and to follow his sunnah and not to be out from the lane of the sunnah and this will be out from the right lane so that's why it will be followed by the different pillars and like a prayer it must be just only for God and be just as our prophet pray it must be also clear just only for God and it must be also according to what we learned from our prophet Muhammad fasting also must be also just only for our God for Allah and to be also same as we we learned from our prophet and pilgrimage also needs to be also just only for Allah and to be based on the perform of the pilgrimage by our prophet so that's why this pillar the first one the testimony it must be it will be based on the different followed pillars so that's why it must be it can be mentioned in all different pillars so that's why it was the first one pray pray it will be a light as our prophet it will be like the connection between the uh, mankind or the individual and uh, and his his god and the god and allah so that's why the origin of this you must be also humble in worshiping allah and we and just only we need to stand and to be loyal and praying just only for our god so that's why we need to have emulation and also to be humble in this pray as you saw me as you saw me praying so that's why just only worship just only allah and for what he uh, taught us so this is as a translation for the testimony and also zakah also that's why our god is saying that you need to take from their money a share to try to purify their money so that's why we are feeding you just only for the god without any thanking we don't need anything in back so that's why it need to be loyal or your acts or your uh, performing in any act so that's why it was mentioned in the testimony that we a testimony that there is no God only but God and we are worshiping him on according to what we learned from our prophet Muhammad fasting also is the same fasting is for me and I reward it because you are fasting just only for our God for Allah and in this case also we need also to learn how our prophet was fasting we will get to the pilgrimage which is the fifth pillar of the Islam pillars this also uh, one of the pillar must be based on the testimony also 
so it is based on the so the symbol or the slogan of this uh, that there is no God only but God I came in response to your call all the praise and the grace and the reason belong to you Allah so this is I'm responding to your call Allah all the time this is a continuous response to his call that there is no partner I will not worship anyone other than you Allah all the grace and the reach belong to you so this is also as Jabir mentioned so that's why our prophet peace be upon him told us to try to respond to the call of Allah because it is as a greatening our God and his individuality of this love and there is no partner for our Allah in the love or in, and in greatening Allah so that's why from the soul of the pilgrimage is a greatening and also the love to uh, to Allah so that's why in all the different meaning in your uh, in the circumambulation standing in Arafah and throwing the pebbles all this to accomplish this meaning that you don't worship just only Allah from the act or the perform it needs to be according to the guidance we need to uh, worship Allah according to what we learned from our prophet and what was sent uh, what was sent by Allah to our prophet and what we learned from him so that's why to take all your rituals this is also in the, in uh, what was narrated by Jabir or take my uh, rituals maybe I can't uh, be with you in the next year so this is also confirm and distress that all our acts must be according to the acts and the performing of our prophet muhammad peace be upon him i'm telling all the pilgrims pilgrimage and that everyone who is performing a pilgrimage needs to be also same as our prophet also perform so we need to have the evidence for this the evidence of our love to our prophet that we need to follow him so following our prophet in the prayer in zakah and fasting and and pilgrimage and dealing with others and treating others also even to try to follow the guidance by our prophet muhammad and we need to know and identify how he was performing and acting and to do as he did and to take what uh, peace be upon him told us uh, in what was mentioned in the sunnah or narrated in the sunnah in sahih bukhari in sahih muslim in sunan uh, muhammad bin majah all these uh, 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 from all the different books of the sunnah that were uh, that is telling us how our prophet were performing acting and that's why the scientist also uh, tried to uh, make this also very uh, also mentioned in all different uh, in all their books uh, like uh, there is some books uh, for performing uh, prayer the zakah fasting uh, pilgrimage and uh, money which is related to this uh, so science is very also facilitated for you but we need also to exert some efforts and we are getting the rewards for this and in this we can accomplish the two meanings the clear loyalty for our Allah and following our Prophet and in this we can accomplish the best perform and the best act which is the highest level and can be accomplished just only if it's loyal and only for our God according to the guidance of our Prophet so that's why we were created that our God created life and death to reward the best of you who did the good work and the best act must be the clear and the loyal just only for Allah and to be according to the guidance of our Prophet uh, peace be upon him so anyone in the world you can judge him according to these two acts first of all we need to judge our acts because sometimes it will be sometimes uh, you will find uh, whether if it's like obeying or guidance or you went uh, or out of lane or in the darnix first of all we need to find it uh, that this act if it's loyal just only to god or no whether it is uh, like according to what was uh, uh, taught by our prophet muhammad peace be upon him so that's good and then after this it will be as a blind one who's going 
That's why our God said in the Holy Quran, whatever you taught by, uh, by the Messenger Muhammad, take, and whatever you didn't, leave it aside. So that's why in the two, uh, in the Sahih of uh, narrated by Aisha, uh, God be pleased with her, that this is, if it's not from our Prophet, it's not accepted by our God. So that's why we need to be coaches as Muslim to take the same lane that were sent and the same lane that we learned from our Prophet. So that's why you will not win in the afterlife unless you have the steps to be on the same steps where he put his step, let's say, and in this you will also be unless than that or other than that you will be out of the lane so that's why sometimes you will be sometimes be attracted to other lanes maybe you can find you can find it active and many people engaging but it will be away from the lane or the way that our prophet taught us and the lane or the way that can you can get through it to allah that's why in the afterlife in the judgment day when our God rescue all the Muslims from the hell and they will uh, cross all the lane to uh, the hell to be, uh, uh, to be saved from this uh, and to get to the paradise. And now we had, after this, it's just only the minute that they will enter the paradise for this until, uh, and they will not enter until our Prophet open inside Muslim. He will ask the, the one who is standing on the door of the paradise, he will be asking, who the doorman will be asking, who is asking for opening the door of the paradise. And this is also we can find out and identify the level of our messenger. And another meaning, which is some people are still missing that there is no way to enter the paradise unless you will be on the same lane and the same way of our prophet. And the other man will say, I was ordered by you and I will not open to anyone before you. So anyone who get this way away from the way of our prophet, he will not get to the paradise because he will be the one to open the door of the paradise. So that's why he need to be to follow uh, the way of our prophet. And hopefully and we are supplicating for the God to be the people who are following the way and the lane of our Prophet, peace be upon him, and to be also under his flag all the time. Sheikh, we would like to, if you can take us in a quick journey about the story of Ismail. And they were in the same place that the pilgrimage are standing in the first, in the same site, and from what they are doing, and peace be upon him. The pilgrimage and this point also is not related. The history is before Abraham. It was since our God created the heavens and the earth. That our Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated that Mecca, it was forbidden. For So it was forbidden by our God. So it was like a sacred place before a long time ago. Once our God created that, our God selected this spot on the earth from all or from all uh, different spots. So that's why He took us as a first site for worshiping our God. So the first site that people worshipped Allah. We don't know who worshipped Allah at that time, but the first place where God were, uh, where God worshipped at that uh, is that spot. Maybe there was mankind. Before that, we don't know about the angels. The angels said about the different, the previous nations that were created before the creation of the mankind. But what is important, it was selected by our God as a spot and he made it as a position or a location for worshipping. So that's why in the obligation of pilgrimage, pilgrimage, it was also mentioned all the privileges of this uh, uh, spot. So it's not just only related to Abraham. Abraham who showed the level or the uh, the status of this uh, spot. Abraham, peace be upon him, when he came to Mecca by the order of Allah and he put 
Hajar and Ishmael in the place that he put them there. He left and he was followed by Hajar. She said, how you can leave us in this place without food, without drink, without anyone, without people, without anyone living there? He didn't even look back to her. And this is about his that he was led by our God and by the orders of our God. So God ordered him to sacrifice his, his son and he was about to. So she was following him and she said, how you can leave us without food or water or shelter in this place? And once she saw that he is not responding to her, she said, God order you and this she she paid an attention that he can't do anything without the order of our God and Allah God order you in this so in this case we will not be lost what did he say when he left and she came back to her son he he was supplicating for Allah um, I put I put my uh, my sons in a place without any mankind but in your house so that's why this is before he put the bases or try to uh, try to start uh, uh, setting the pillars and the bases for the house of Allah so it was created or selected before Abraham a long time ago and this is also it came from different also stories. There is a call, a story, a sheikh that we took. First call, Abu Bashir from Saudi Arabia. Abu Bashir, please be upon him. In a brief, if you please. If anyone have the intention for for the pilgrimage and the day of Tarwiyah, he get to Mina, but he didn't go to the Kaaba. So he didn't do circumambulation or do the travel between maybe Bashir you can follow us we will answer you but in in these episodes we will talk in details about this later on thank you Abul Bashir from Saudi we will go for a short break and then we will get back to continue what we started this is a short break after this we will continue about the rituals programs please be with us We welcome you again, dear viewers, uh, in the last part of the episode for today, talking about the pilgrimage in Islam with the eminence, uh, Dr. Khaled bin Abdullah al-Muslih, uh, our guest for this program. We got another telephone call, uh, our brother Basim from Saudi Basim, this be upon you. If you please. If the pilgrimage after he end the sacrifice day and the tashrik days he delayed the he delayed uh, when coming to Mecca like the circumambulation father so is this enough uh, in, uh, like or he needs to perform the farewell circumambulation or no we will get back to your question Basim we will continue we will continue about the uh, the location or the spot of this house. Uh, this is also where before Abraham based be upon him. So that's why in the introduction about the pilgrimage and that it's uh, one of the obligation. Uh, this is uh, obliged by our God on the worshippers or the believers. So that's why there was also some uh, causes and our God gave to us that it was the first place that were chosen that indeed the first house of worship established for mankind was that in Mecca blessed and guidance for the world so that's why it have different like specifications for this mentioned by our God to this selection of this place why people are coming or visiting Mecca for these five reasons and that's why and even also our God and Hajj to the house is a duty that mankind owes to Allah and the obligation of pilgrimage is not only for this nation so the messengers or the prophets uh, uh, performed pilgrimage to this house about 70 prophets and different stories about this 
but this spot is great and, and no doubt about this like after Abraham all the mankind are called to come to uh, to come to this to this uh, to this place or to this spot so even if from they are from Israel or from Ismail nation that everybody's ordered to come to this spot so that's why it's very distinguished this spot and all the different messages or different rituals or different religions other than others what is distinguished in this in this religion that it came by or it was cleared by the rituals by our prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that there is no doubt about this but as a completion to to worship only one God and what we mean about the pilgrimage or the meaning of the pilgrimage is just only to worship Allah so it was this is meant why to come to this spot and our God also in his holy Quran and after you end all your rituals uh, mention your God as you mentioned uh, your grandfathers and your people and they try to uh, to try to remember and worship our God in some specific dates and some specific days so this uh, house was greatened since our God created the universe, so it was the first place uh, that our God were worshipped in this and still continued until our current day. And it was the first house uh, for the people that it was indeed the first house of worship established for mankind was that the Mecca blessed and guidance for the words for the journeys and the mankind. And there is also very good evidence about the selection of this spot that it was and anyone who entered this will be saved and our God also that and uh, Hajj to the house of Kaaba is a duty that mankind owes to Allah and if anyone refused he will not great in this and he will not be forgiven and our God is not in need for anyone just only the people who are worshipping the believers this is what this is what is related to the selection of this spot we need to talk about Mecca and the specification of Mecca and how what God made for Mecca it would be a long story maybe we will have uh, long days talking about this but it, it's up to you if you need me to continue before we get another call Sheikh about the blessing of Mecca that this is small spot or this is small area uh, receiving millions uh, of uh, pilgrimage and how it can be enough or sufficient for all of them what uh, what is this rela what is the relation between this and the blessing uh, of Mecca we will get the call from Gassim and then we will take the answer from you Sheikh peace be upon you a woman went to the Hajj and she got also she entered Mecca without making the ihram in the eight days she did the bathing and she was impure at that time she got the menses she didn't do the ihram from the mikat no she went to the mikat but she was in the state of menses at that time but she didn't perform uh, she didn't perform perform ihram but now she's she did the pathing the ritual pathing she didn't perform the ihram can she perform the ihram while she is menses at that time thank you doctor she can another call until we get our next call you asked about the blessing of mecca the blessing of mecca for sure got different like aspects that mecca is very blessed from the blessing that anyone who was forgiven for all the sins and he didn't do any sin he became as he was buried and also from the blessing that anyone who came with a clear and uh, with a clear heart and loyal heart uh, that he will get uh, the paradise as a reward and it was selected uh, for the last and the final messages if we need to follow all these blessings it's not just only about this place it can uh, can include or can get or everybody can once we will have like more people in to, so it can't like get a, a one billion within the uh, 
It will be just only for a limited number of people to be received. This is out of the blessing. So this is according to how we do regulations or how we do organize the place in preparing. It will be just only include some level. This is not related to the blessing, but there is other blessing uh, phases. It's not, it can't be included or can't be mentioned in this short time. The greatest blessing in this, that from the blessings of this place or this spot, there was the light of the final message that it lightened all the darkness of the universe that were sent by our prophet, that were sent by our prophet Muhammad in all different places, even by the force of the infidels sometimes. So sometimes it will be misunderstood that the blessing of this spot is limited, but it's, it is more great than we can imagine. We will get also another call while we are talking, our Sheikh, about the greatening of Mecca and the Holy Mosque of Mecca. And maybe our call now is for, and the speech for the people of Mecca and because they got the biggest share of visiting the Holy Mosque and Mecca. Mecca was also a given. It's like a sacred place, the Holy Mosque, and there is just only two Holy Mosques, the Holy Mosque of Mecca and the Holy Mosque of uh, in Medina. And it became a sacred uh, mosque in Medina by our Prophet as Abraham made uh, Mecca or Kaaba as a sacred mosque, but it doesn't, it wasn't done by our Prophet Abraham, but it was shown by Abraham, so that's why it needs to be known for everybody that this blessed place uh, get from the level needs to be also paid attention by the people of this place and they need to take care of it because they will get also more deeds and will have to minimize and to have minima to minimize their uh, bad acts so that's why it was as our god also made it uh, forbidden as a place uh, location so that's why we need to greaten the rituals of our God and from greatening the rituals of our God to be away from any sin. So that's why he will be tortured if he did or committed. So that's why it will be if you did it, you, you will be tortured by our God. And from also this, we need to greaten what our God greatened, and we need also to receive our guests that came to facilitate for them as a pilgrimage, to perform pilgrimage in this, to try to facilitate for all the guests of this holy mosque that they came from this far distance and far destination to us. But we need, to, uh, but we, we still have a short time. Ali, another call from Ali. What time is it now? Like the next day? The first pebble when we are going to throw it. So if we throw and like the start of the next day and the next day of the of the pilgrimage, we still have one minute. We will answer all these questions now. Uh, just quickly, if there is only one minute, we will answer this question. Basim was talking about uh, the farewell circumambulation. We can combine the uh, uh, farewell circumambulation to combine it to, with the uh, farewell and the ifada also circumambulation. So we need to combine the two together, but we will talk into details in other episodes. And also our, uh, our also brother asked about uh, the woman that were in a state of menses. Uh, and said when she wants a menses, you need to have a ritual bad thing so menses can't prevent her to do ihram or sacralization but she will do like all the different acts of performing last questions by ali ali is talking about the throwing peoples and the time uh, and the start time of each day we will talk about this later on in details that's good 
after uh, if we can get a word from you to conclude this episode i'm telling uh, for all the different listeners and viewers we mentioned something very important about it is related to all the different uh, pillars that try to achieve and uh, to be just only have the loyalty for our god and uh, fol- uh, follow our prophet muhammad the messenger of allah peace be upon him and uh, if you do all that you will be accepted and all your acts will be accepted by our god all the thank uh, for you uh, your eminence and all the thank for you our listeners and at the same time we will meet you tomorrow until that time we leave you with the god blessing and peace be upon you